Hi, Taylor Danielson here from Canova Robotics. And today I'm gonna to show you how the Jayco robotic arm can enable you to eat all of your favorite meals completely independently. Eating with Jayco's hands is going to be the most straightforward thing. Just bring Jayco down to whatever you're trying to eat. And remember to use all of your modes uh, to orient the hand in the optimal direction for grabbing. So now we're just gonna bring it over. Going to orient and point the fingers towards our mouth. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring my mouth up to it. And when my mouth has uh, positioned itself where I'm going to be able to catch the marshmallow as I release. I'm going to start slowly releasing. There we go. Great success. Uh, depending on what you're eating, you may want to uh, maybe wrap it in a paper towel. Uh, say if you're eating like a piece of pizza, uh, typically I'll put a paper towel around the crust just so that I'm not getting grease all over Jaco's fingers. Another option for protecting your fingers from particularly messy foods is something called finger clots. So you can take three of those and slide them onto each one of Jayco's fingers and it's going to protect them pretty well. For the next stop on our culinary adventure, I'd like to introduce you to the utensil holder. And this is something which is going to come with each Jayco and it is extremely versatile in what it can do. We have several holes cut into it. Into those holes, you slip your utensils, your forks, your spoons, uh, even a knife if you wanted to. And then there are some screws which can be turned by hand. You can see a couple here on the bottom. And by turning those, it's going to clamp down on that spoon and create a very tight grip. In front of me here, I have some oatmeal or it may be called porridge where you are. It's basically just some oats and milk and it makes a great breakfast. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower the uh, utensil holder and with it the spoon. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go down a little bit and then I'm going to rotate a little bit. And this is going to slide the spoon under the food and then also begin scooping the food. So I'm just in our B2 mode. And if you're unsure about modes, make sure to go check out our video on all of the modes and explaining what they do. And I've got a good spoonful here. So I'm going to rotate a little bit more just to bring it up so it's level. And we see here, we've got a nice spoonful of food. It's maybe it's a bit over full, but we're gonna, we're gonna do our best to not make a mess. So ideally you're going to want to make sure that this spoon is level for the transfer so that it's, it's not tilting and falling off onto your lap, which is important. Um, so I'm just going to begin moving Jayco as normal Nothing special about how I'm moving Jayco now. I'm just being conscious of the orientation of the spoon. And I'm going to lift. And I'm now going to point the spoon so that it is going straight into my mouth. So now I am lined up on my mouth. I'm just gonna raise it up a little bit more. There we go. Okay, with our oatmeal out of the way, that went very well. We're going to try some different things. Uh, Jayco works excellent with fruits and vegetables because they're usually something you can just pick up with your hands. Uh, but here in front of me, I've got a nice orange and oranges can be sticky. Uh, so I'm going to use a fork to eat them. And I think there's a lot we can learn from this process. So let's get to it. So I'm going to line myself up over an orange slice here. I have oriented the fork at an angle instead of straight down. So I'm slowly gonna come down and I can see we've pierced our orange. And again, what I'm going to do, like we did with the oatmeal, is I'm going to do some wrist rotation. And that's just going to hopefully get it stuck on the fork. So I'm rotating and there we go. Now that we've picked up our orange, what I'm going to do is I'm going to orient the fork upwards so that it's not sliding off as I'm, I'm doing the transition from plate to mouth. 
And I'm going to continue maintaining this, this upward point with the fork so that it doesn't slide off. And you know what? I'm going to point the fork right upwards because I know that's going to work better for me personally, grabbing this orange. Well, so let's do it. There we go. Success. Okay, so I hope we've learned a lot about how Jayco can make eating independently very possible. Uh, I've just shown you a few examples because unfortunately I don't have all the foods of the world in my kitchen. Uh, so, you know, let me know in the comments what you are eating with Jayco, what you would eat with Jayco. Uh, and if you have any questions about, you know, is it possible to eat this with Jayco, let me know and I'll, I'll see what I can figure out. Uh, Jayco is fantastic for allowing you to intake uh, all kinds of foods and snacks and, you know, even candy. Uh, it's a really fantastic for restoring independence in terms of being able to feed yourself. So I hope you've seen what Jayco can do and I'd love to hear your ideas and, and thoughts about what you'd like to do with Jayco. So please let me know.